Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. I am Royal Mix Gaming. And today's video is going to be about Legendary Infantry Investment Order. So when you're first starting the game, you're going to have multiple different commanders to kind of choose from. And the first commander you're still going to want to go in Expertise, even though it's not an infantry commander, it's going to be YSG. Main reason you want to max YSG is because you can pair him with a lot of different commanders in a lot of different configurations. And he's going to help you really a lot in the early game. And it's going to basically progress you really far in the early game and even into the late game. So as we're going to be looking at Legendary Infantry Commanders, I'm going to go ahead and select Legendary Infantry Commanders. And as you can see, there's a lot of different Legendary Infantry Commanders to choose from. So when you're, choose you're starting the game, you're going to have some different options and things like that. But you're going to want to make sure you max YSG first from the wheel. Keep spinning his wheel, max him out. So then when you're going to be choosing your second infantry march, your second infantry commander, I would recommend going for Alex. You're going to get him on the Wheel of Fortune. Around KVK2, you're going to get Alex on the Wheel of Fortune. I believe it's KVK2. I can't remember exactly. You have to correct me on that if I'm wrong about that. But I would spin Alex if you so choose infantry path when you're first starting the game after you maxed your YSG. Alex is going to be the next one on your list. Mostly because Alex is going to provide buffs for you. He has an instant damage of like 1700. And he's an all around good commander to invest in. Because he can go with a lot of pretty much any of these commanders. At least at the top tier spot of this. Trees and stuff like that. He can go with basically any of these commanders on, I have on the screen. Which is really good and is why he goes really well with YSG and things like that. Which is why he would be your second commander to invest in and your very first infantry commander to go ahead and expertise. And I'd rec recommend that you do the Wheel of Fortune as much as you can so you don't have to spend so many Sculptures Universals on him. So once you have YSG and, and then Alex expertise, I'm going to recommend that you don't go ahead and do Richard. I'm going to recommend that you don't go ahead and max Charles. Mostly because these commanders, well one of them is a gold key. Richard, yes, I have expertise, but I have, this is my main account that's over a 1,000 days old. And back in the good old days, when the first game, game came out, Richard was one of the best commanders to invest in because he was so tanky, healed, and basically no d commander in the game could out-damage him. But now there's such high damage factors of 2,300, you know, direct damage factors that Richard just can't heal fast enough and be tanky enough to take those kinds of hits. And he just ends up filling your hospital. So I'd recommend not maxing Richard. If you want to invest in Richard, like a 5511 is good enough that you can use with your max YSG. And you can do AoE barb farming, which is going to be good enough. And you can even do him 5111. And you can probably spin his wheel and get good enough on him that he is good enough for you and it's really good. Charles is a gold key commander. I would not recommend you basically trying to get him expertise with universals. You just kind of get gold keys. And keep doing that, and maybe if you're in a high spinning alliance, you can expertise him, which is okay. He's a good expertise, but only expertise him if you're like doing a lot of infantry marches. So, wouldn't recommend him too highly to go and invest in because Alex is just so much better. His shield's better, his damage is better, his buffs better, and that's why I'd recommend him as your first infantry commander. So after all that, and you haven't invested in, you know, don't max Constantine. Don't do any of these kind of commanders unless you're a super whale. Um, I would just do Constantine like 5511. If you feel like you want to do a lot of infantry marches, you can do that, but I wouldn't highly recommend it. So my second highly recommended commander, once you reach Season of Conquest, you're going to have all these commanders unlocked because they are Season of Conquest commanders. Some of them are. Other ones are early game, but since most players aren't going to have a lot of sculptures to pass around, you're going to have YSG maxed, you're going to have Alex maxed. The next commander I'm going to recommend you go ahead and try and get is Scipio. I would recommend you expertise him, which is going to take you some time if you are not a very high spender. You don't spin the wheel too much, things like that. But I would recommend that you go ahead and spin his Wheel of Fortune as much as possible. Basically, once you have Alex maxed, you're going to spin, you're going to save your gems up, and you're going to make sure you're getting your T5 and things like that, maxing your castle, getting your research worked on, and getting all your things to 25. But once you have some of that stuff done, and once you have some extra gems lying around, I know it's going to take some time, but once you do, unless you spend some money, you can also start spinning the wheel for Scipio, 
and he's going to be your second infantry commander that you're going to go ahead and expertise because he's just very, very good. He has a 2,000 damage factor and an AoE health reduction, which is just really, really good. He has attack bonuses, march speed bonuses, infantry health bonuses, even more damage factor to the target, and damage taken reduced by, and some even more damage triggered. And then he has some extra skill damage with the target is silenced, which is what's going to come into my third infantry command that I would recommend you expertise after Scipio. But I would think Scipio is a higher quality commander to do than some of the other ones that I'm going to go ahead and list after this. So once you've expertised Scipio, or if you feel like you want to bring a lot of infantry marches on the field, you can try and bring him like 5551. Five, the third infantry commander that I would recommend you go on expertise is Guan Yu. He has an AoE silence, a damage factor of 2,000, with a chance to trigger up to an extra additional damage factor of like 1,400 and an extra 1,000, but those are just chances. He has an infantry attack and march speed bonus. is a small heal. It doesn't really matter. If you're going to be doing Guan Yu, I would recommend you expertise him, but if you think that you don't have the sculptures, you want to max Scipio first, you know, things like that, you can do him 5, 1, 5, 5. And then he's good enough if you don't have the sculptures to not even worry about expertise him. But I would recommend you expertise Scipio because then you would pair Guan Yu and Scipio together. And then you're going to have Alex Max and you can pair him with, Al with YSG. And you're going to have two solid infantry marches. And then once you've kind of worked into another commander that you're going to go into for infantry, I would recommend you try and work on Harold. Mostly because... You can also try and do CJ, but I think Harold just has a little bit more utility than CJ does because CJ is basically good with, he is good with Scipio, he is good with other commanders, but he's kind of niche is going with Scipio or with Alex, and I think that going with Guan Yu is not as, not as good. So you can either go into Harold or CJ. Um, the pair with Scipio and CJ together is probably one of the highest single target damages in the game is really really good and is really really good for Scipio if you wanted to do that then you could do Guan and Alex together and things like that I wouldn't recommend doing Leo anymore he's only good with Guan Yu in early game you can have Alex Max and Leo is just late game so I would recommend you do Guan and Alex and probably Scipio and CJ or Scipio and Harold and then you can try and see if you want to pair some other combinations together but those are basically the four infantry commanders I would try and go in expertise. It's basically going to be your Alex first, then you're going to have Scipio, and then I would work on Guan Yu, and then you can kind of choose and divvy up what you think you want to do and do Harold or CJ, and they can go with, like I was saying, Scipio, Alex, or Guan Yu. They can all go together. You want to make sure you're putting Guan Yu first. He has to be primary no matter what in one of these, any of these combos. Alex is probably going to be primary for basically going with Harold or anything like that. But then Scipio needs to most likely be primary for any of these other combos because he has the AoE debuff. And then you're going to do a big damage factor with CJ or with Harold or even with Guan Yu. But Guan Yu needs to be primary because his damage factor goes down if he's secondary. So those are basically the infantry commanders in order that I would recommend to you. You can go ahead and do some notable mentions here that I'm going to give to you. So Pakal and Harold is very, very good. It's probably the best infantry march for a good trade. The problem with it is it's not support in any way to your team so it's going to have some difficulty basically supporting your team at all and provides no buffs no debuffs it's only going to get you a good trade and nobody else it is annoying to attack with if you're going to be attacking somebody it's going to be very hurtful and give you a good trade but that's the only thing it is it's just like a tell it's Kata, just a better infantry pair of that and it's really really good but i wouldn't highly recommend it if you're wanting to do five marches and Flavius is only for Garrison with Zenobia or with Scipio. And then, let's see here, Constantine, 5511 is good enough. Leo, if you really are dead set on getting Leo, having a lot of infantry marches, you can do Guan Leo. Um, I just caution you on that because Leo's kind of getting replaced by a lot of these other infantry commanders like Scipio. And I think you can do better than that. Even putting Guan and Alex together is probably better in the long run simply because of the march speed. Leo is very slow, and he only really goes really well with Guan Yu. And at this point in the game, I wouldn't highly recommend doing him. So some of the commanders I wouldn't recommend you do is Richard, Leo, Charles, Constantine, those commanders, and even Pakal, I would caution you on doing unless you're doing a lot of infantry marches and want to bring a, like up to nearly three or four into the field. I wouldn't recommend doing them at all. So 
those are going to be the infantry marshals that I recommend to you. And then in the order that I gave you to them, those are the infantry commanders that I would do. And that is basically all this video is about, was your recommended order for infantry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below with any questions on anything that you haven't heard about today about infantry commanders. And I'll see you on the next one.